Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. Yes. Sing it. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Amen. Summer and winter, springtime and Yes, yes. Sun, moon, and stars in their courses above join in all nature and manifold witness to thy great faithfulness. Yes, yes, yes. Sing it. Mercy. Bless us. Yes, yes, yes. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Said it right. 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 Bless you, Bishop. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. 
My soul should make her boast unto the Lord. The humble should hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Yes, yes. For the Lord is good. Yes, he is. His mercy is everlasting yes. and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. And I'd just like to first thank our Savior Lord Jesus Christ and to the bishop, the overseer of Evening Star Baptist Church, um, where my Aunt Mamie was a member for 20 years, at least 20 years, and then my Aunt Betty's Deacon Betty Jones and, and so forth. And, and, and Bishop, I remember when y'all, before y'all moved to your current location, I think y'all was off 62nd, 60, 63rd, right? Uh, 69th. 69th. 69th, and, and so uh, as, a, as a teen, a young, young person, um, you had it so that uh, we would go to Screaming Wheels, skating yes, rink. Yes, yes. And so I remember, you know, if, if I wanted to have fun, I would go and hang out with my Aunt Betty. And, and, and one of the songs that I, I remember, and I, and I joke um, uh, my cousin Lorinda about it, uh, a song that says, If You're Happy, you know, and they used to sing, If you're happy and you know it. Say amen. You know, he was just saying that song. Y'all know that song, right? Yeah. And so what I enjoyed about the church, Bishop, you know, I went to Emmanuel Baptist Church with Dr. L.K. Curry was the pastor, and we didn't have drums in our church. You know, we didn't have those, those type of things. And the most majority of the songs we were singing, uh, uh, Sister Betty, uh, is, was, was uh, hymnals. And then, but we go over to, the, when I used to get a chance to go over to your church, uh-huh. you, you get the... You get the drums, and, and it, it, be, it, it, it was some liveness, and, and, and so I do appreciate that. I'm not going to keep you long. Uh, I'm a very I'm disciplined. My pastor um, in Fort Worth, I live in Fort Worth, Texas, he's, he's always say stick with the protocol, stay with the protocol. And so, but it, there are some words of uh, I like to just share that really has helped me um, as a nephew um, for Mother Mamie Dixon. And one of the things that I enjoy about my auntie is, um, she was a serious person, especially when it came to the Word of God. And she used to ask me, Bishop, you know, uh, nephew, what did the Bible say about this? I, or, or she would hear this, and, and, and so. But you know, Aunt Mamie was, you know, she'd ask you a question, and she already know the answer. <laughs> and, and she would just, would, and she, she was serious though. She was serious, and, and, and she was, she was studied. You know, uh, my Aunt Betty, she, she gave me some things to look through, and, and I noticed that she had all these type of certifications, Bible training, and she was very serious. And over the years, she had given me some tools that would help me to assist me. So she was, she was serious, and, and she was studied, but she was saved also. And that's the biggest thing. Anytime you uh, have a relationship in Christ, um, Sister Bestie May, uh, you have lived a life, a, a good life, it is, is when you are in Christ, it's a life well lived. Um, Sister Mamie, uh, my aunt, you just couldn't tell her anything. She knew something about sin, you know. She knew she could go to the scripture, all have sin, and come short of the glory of God. And look, yeah, look directly, like Bishop, look directly at you. And then if you say you have no sin, she'll point you to 1 John chapter 8. If you say you have no sin, the truth is not in you. You know, uh, and then she'd go to that verse 10 and say, if you say you have not sinned, you make him a liar, which is Christ. You know, I mean, she knew something about it. But what I like to focus on, she also knew something about suffering. Uh, Sister Mamie, uh, my aunt, I call her Sister Mamie, but Mother Mamie, she, you, you know, you just couldn't, you could convince her about this life here on earth is all about health and wealth. You know, yes, yeah, she had hope. Uh, she believed in our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. She, she understood that he is a healer. He's Jehovah Jireh. She understood that. But she knew it was, it was something much more uh, to, to life than, than just material things and just all these, 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 these worldly uh, uh, blessings. And so what I would like to share with you is a passage of Scripture. It comes out of 1 Peter. Um, chapter 5, you don't have to stand, but listen to these words. Listen to these words. But the God of all grace, who have called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. For, for this just short time, uh, Bishop, I just 
like to just speak for for a little while. Can y'all say for a little while? For a little while. For a little while. And and I am amazed, uh, uh, Sister Pope, by this particular passage of scripture, um, particularly um, because it talks about the God of all grace. Um, how do you? What do you think about God? You know, is God just your homeboy? Is God just a big person in, in the sky? Is, is God someone that you can, like a cosmic genie? You know, you just tell, you, you tell God what to do. No, 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 no. God is our creator. And when we talk about the God of all grace, um, this God of all grace, this God is, is the one who, who has unlimited favor. You know, you, we know what grace is, right? Grace is receiving something um, that you don't deserve. Amen. Now, if you... We, you know, what we deserve is death because the wages of sin is what? Death. Then that's what we deserve. But, but because of his mercy, huh, we don't receive that, but we, but we receive his grace. It, matter of fact, it wasn't because you were so good that he saved you. Don't, didn't the Apostle Paul say, for by grace, that's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, we are saved through faith, not of works, lest a man should boast. So here it is, his grace, this God of grace. So the, in this passage, it says, but the God of all grace. And so the first thing we, I think we have to understand, and if, if we, we, we want to partner with Mother Mamie Dixon, because right now, absent from the body, what? Presence with the Lord. In order for you to be able to claim that today, uh, Sister Contour, uh, you have to understand something about the eternal creator. He is eternal. Uh, th th this word here is, is, is you, when you read your Bible, what's the first um, verse of your Bible? In the beginning, what? God created. This is the creator. This is the one bishop who created something out of nothing. This is the one who put the meow in the cat and the roof in the dog. Th this is the eternal creator. This is the one who, who did something uh, for you ha, that you could not do for yourself. Yes. You know, we can do a lot of things, man. We can create an airplane. Uh, we can create a ship. We could, we could, we could send a, a, a spacecraft uh, into space. But think of some of the basic things that only our Lord can uh, create. Think about water. We don't even got a good working definition of what water is. We say H2O. That doesn't describe, that might, that might chemically describe water. But can man, can we produce water? You know what we have produced with our own hands? Sin, S-I-N. That's what we have produced. But here it is, a God, when it talks about, Bishop, when it says, but the God of all grace, so he comes, who hath called us. And so we, we, we see this eternal creator. I can park right there, but let me push it. Uh, we see this eternal creator. He's eternal. This is, this is the self-existing God. This is Jehovah. Some of us say Yahweh. This is the one who cannot fail. This is the one who was outside side of time and came inside side of time. This is the one that said, let there be light. And there was your bang. Bang. That was your big bang right there. So the eternal God, the eternal God, the eternal God and uh, eternal creator. And I, and I thank God that uh, my aunt, sister Mamie and to y'all mother, um, Mamie Dixon, she knew something about this eternal God. And it just, it just might be someone who's not, who's here, who does not know anything but listen to the words of David in Psalm 14 and 1 the fool uh -huh. has said in their heart there is no God yeah, yeah. they have done abominable and detestable things and so God has placed in since we are in the image of his image his image created us in the image he have this is Romans chapter 1 talk about he has we, we should be able to look at creation and know that there's something else out there oh, yeah. and so this eternal creator now now, notice in this, listen to these words, but the God of all grace who hath called us into his eternal glory. A lot of us shout on this. Uh -huh. And, and, and this, is, this is why this is words of encouragement. You know, a lot of us shout about being called, you know, but we never think about what we are called to. You know, um, we can give ourselves titles. Yes. Uh, we can pat ourselves on the back. We can do some things and receive rewards. But I thank God that my aunt Mamie, she wasn't like that. Now, she she had a lot of a lot of that Linus. She had a lot of those type of things that I that, that you can see. But but here it is. He had called us and he called us to something. And this is what the church is. I, I thank God. This is what the church is. No matter no matter who you are. Uh, 
And if you believe in Jesus Christ, there's a church. And I said earlier that I went to, I grew up in Emmanuel Baptist Church, and then I got a chance to go with my Aunt Baby to her church. They had the, do, 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 do. They had the drums over there. I, I enjoyed that. But I thank God that, that he has an, an eternal purpose for each and every one of us. He has called us. Matter of fact, Peter said he has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. And so, but here it is, it's his purpose. He has called us. And a lot of us shout about this, but a lot of us, we don't consider what it cost him to call us. And so Peter talks so much about suffering. In, in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 14, he says that happy are ye, that's the King James saying, makarios in the Greek New Testament, but happy are ye. What does it mean? How? What, God has the audacity to say that, that, that you're, you're blessed when you suffer, but he talks about suffering for, for righteousness. Yes. And then he goes on in that chapter, chapter 4, 1 Peter chapter 4, he says that happy are ye again when you have, when you have been insulted. Uh, when you have suffered for Christ and, and Bishop, I like that because because it's one thing to be insulted because you're guilty. Uh -huh. uh, but this the nuance, what was captured there is is it's the insult one coming along to insult you, whether you're guilty or if it's something that they made up about you. Mm -hmm. But it's all of this is, is covered there. But happy are you. So so Peter spends some time talking about suffering. So this eternal purpose. So when you think about suffering, suffering is talking about afflictions, um, internal or external. There are some things that we can do within ourselves that has some consequences. There are some things, some worrying. If you worry too much, you're going to bring on some type of stress or depression, mm -hmm. right? It, it, James said, don't worry about tomorrow because yes. tomorrow has, has its own troubles, right? And, and so there, there's some things. But there also are um, some external things huh, that can come along, some things that's out of your control. And I just reflected on my Aunt, Aunt Mamie and Mother uh, Mamie Dixon to, to, to Evening Star um, that she was, she was never a complainer. Most of us didn't know that she was going through. I didn't know, you know, uh, and, but she was never a complainer and, and she stayed faithful. Uh, and these are some things that, you know, one can argue, maybe she brought it on. But then at the end of the day, we all are the can. You look in the mirror. You don't look like what you looked like 20 years ago. Matter of fact, the son said there's a leak <laughs> in, his, in his old building. Right. And, you, you know, we don't look like what we look like in college. We don't look like, you know, I, I sent some pictures out to some, some of my cousins when, when they were eight, nine years old, and, and you're something to laugh on. We don't look like it, but this eternal purpose, and what we see in this eternal purpose is that he have, he have called us. But notice what he has called us to, and y'all not going to shout about this. In this verse, but the God of all grace, we have called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. Then he says, after that, you have suffered for a while. Ooh. Y'all quiet on me. Suffering. After you have suffered for a while, didn't he send forth his son, Jesus Christ? Yeah. Didn't his son suffer? He suffered. He was mocked. He was beaten. Uh, he suffered. See, see, we don't talk about that. We don't, we don't associate suffering with our Christian walk. But after you have suffered for a while, it's some suffering. And sometimes the suffering comes about because we are out of order. Yes. Matter of fact, in Hebrews, and I'm almost done, Bishop, in Hebrews, uh, he said that he chastened the ones that he loved yes. as a father. Yes. So there's some suffering. If we look and we reflect, Jamil, over this pandemic, uh, it's been some suffering, loss of loved ones. It's been some suffering. It, it's been some financial, financial difficulties, some suffering. It, it's, it's, it's kids killing parents and parents killing kids and, and police brutality and brutality against police. Uh, you, you just go on. It's been some suffering. Can y'all agree with that? But, but it's some suffering. But here it is, and, and this is where the shout is at, is after you have suffered for a while, and, and depending on the translation that you're reading, if, whether it's the King James or whatever, you don't see this in the King James Version. But in the Greek New Testament, you see this and, and you see this. But it says, after you have suffered huh, for a while, the King James says, make you perfect. Now, in the Greek text, and I like this, it says that, that he himself. Huh, and, and so notice that the one who have called you, um, he doesn't just leave you out there. Can we testify this morning? That he is not only our redeemer, but he's also our sustainer. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Can't we testify the one, he himself, which is Christ, uh, can't nobody yes. do me like Jesus? Yes. Can't we testify this morning that if it had not been um, for the Lord on our side, won't he do it? Yes. Won't he make a way for us? Yes. Won't he open doors for us? Yes. Won't he provide for us? And, and, and I wish that I just had one or two people who could testify because after we know who he is as our eternal creator and, and then we know that he has an eternal purpose, I'm closing now, but we know that he has given us some eternal promises. Yes. Whew, I like that, don't you? You know, sometimes we think about promises and, and, and we, 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 we think about some things and, and sometimes God has so much more for us. We, we focus so much on the material, um, but he has something eternal. And the eternal stuff is, is what he would do. It says he himself. I like that. Y'all say he himself. You know, it don't, it don't sound like good grammar, but that's what, that's what it says. He himself, uh, Bessie May will perfect you. Uh, he, he, he'll make you what you ought to be. Yes. Even when you don't look like it. Yes, yes. This is being conformed to the image of his son, Jesus Christ. Yes. He himself, uh, who he will strengthen you. That's what it says in this passage of scripture. Uh, he will confirm your mind. Uh, in other words, you won't vacillate between two decisions. You, you'll be able, because he will put his word in your heart, you'll be able to stand your ground. He himself, that's what he would do. He will strengthen you. That's what it says in that verse. He himself, he will strengthen you. And so in other words, he will order your steps. Yes. We thank the Lord for that. This is why this summer encouragement, he will order your step. And then he also will settle you. And, and think, don't you, aren't you glad that he himself had done something? And this same Jesus, he, who we talked about, he himself, he was wounded yes. for our transgressions. This same Jesus was bruised for our inequities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes, what? We are what? We are healed. This same Jesus on one Friday, yes. he hung between two thieves. Yes. This same Jesus yes. who was mocked and beaten, and the same Jesus who, who died, and then he was pierced. And that blood that was shed was for the remission of our sins. This same Jesus, he just didn't stay down, and this is what the encouragement is. He just didn't stay down, but on Friday, what did Jesus do? He got up. He rose. And because he got up, we get up. Yes. And that's what the encouragement is. And I would say anyone, you know, it's, it's not goodbye to Aunt Mamie or Mother Mamie. But if you are in Christ, it's see you later, Aunt Mamie. And this is the word of the Lord. Amen and amen. amen. Precious Lord, yes. take my hand and lead, lead me on. Let me stand. I am tired. I